My name is Rowena Hamilton, and I recently rediscovered my childhood passion for the sea. It dawned on me that you could just take a scuba diving course and jump straight into the wild ocean. I was totally hooked. There aren't many wild places left on land, at least not in Britain. And it's not like human actions haven't affected the sea. It's just that the threats are often invisible. They're hidden underwater, or they're chemical changes that you can't immediately see. My dad was a biologist. He could always explain what a natural object was, how it behaved and why. I was privileged to have experienced his understanding of nature. I might have been a biologist too, if I hadn't been such a rebellious youth. As it was, I studied art and work in a gallery, but the connections between art, science and nature have been a constant thread running through my professional and personal life. I suppose that any way you try to approach understanding the natural world brings endless surprises. I've dived all over the world and seen so many amazing things. Sunlight on the soft, iridescent bodies of gooseberry sea squirts in the Orkneys. Or gigantic whale sharks hoovering up clouds of tiny shrimp-like krill in the Maldives. I enjoy the sensation of diving. It's so alien for us as land animals. Maybe the water pressure feels womb-like? Or maybe it's just that humans don't seem so significant down there. It's reassuring how quickly marine organisms can turn shipwrecks or other man-made structures into new habitats. On the other hand, it's shocking how much litter you see drifting or snarled up in the remotest reefs. There has to be a limit to how much of our trash it can cope with. I agonise about how to help protect the ocean from the threats that come from our civilization. Is it better to stay in the UK to reduce my carbon footprint? Or travel to places where tourism means communities see their coral reefs as a resource, worth more for tourism than for harvesting fish, shells or coral? I don't eat fish. The most effective thing is probably to share my passion within my own small circle of influence and hope that perhaps others will take the plunge and see the oceans as I do.